Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Evans and in today's video, I want to quickly show you how you can turn your cell phone into a wireless monitoring system for any camera brand that you use using the Xeon image transmission module. In my last video, we took a look at how to use the image transmission module with the Webel S. However, based on the comments that I got on that video, it seems as if most people were under the impression that the image transmission module only works with the Webel S gimbal. So in this video, we are taking a look at how to use the image transmission module without the Webel S. At the end of the video, I'll also share with you a basic trick of how you can use that same setup on any gimbal. And in this case, I will demonstrate it with the Ronin SC. All right, let's get started. Okay, so in the last video, we took a look at how to set up the image transmission module for the Webel S. And in this video, the same particular settings apply. So I'm gonna link to that video up here. If you haven't seen it, you can take a look at that and you can see the cables that I use. So for this video, I'm demonstrating with the Sony A7 III. However, you can use any camera brand that you have, any camera model that you own, um, and that is supported by the image transmission system, and you can get it to work the same way. All right, so first things first, we take that plate, same little plate that we mounted at the bottom of the Webel S, and we're gonna mount this tiny piece that comes with it through it. And that piece, it's basically a cold shoe adapter or a hot shoe adapter which allows you to take that plate and mount it right on top of your camera just like that now if your setup is heavy then you may want to have a cage and be able to probably mount the transmission module on the side of your camera on the cage or something of that sort but once you have that i'm going to take my image transmission module um, and i have the cables connected this is my hdmi mini to micro cable and also here we have the usb 3.0 to the usb micro cable those are the two cables that we need to get this working on the sony if you're using any other module of camera you may want to get the proper cables for your camera that comes to the image transmission module and use those so i'm going to mount the image transmission module on top of the camera the trick is that you can mount the plate first and then you can use this little screw in there to tighten the plate on the hot shoe and then you just mount your camera your and then you just take the transmission module and slide it in like that okay so let's go over the phone and launch the zy play app So once the app is open, scroll over, and this time we're not going to use the Webel S tab. We're going to go over and use the image transmission tab right here and click on connect now. Okay, so once you click connect now, you're going to come in here and you will see the Xerian Tech SSID. Uh, in my case, it's Xerian Tech 7846. So I'm going to click on that. Click on connect. If this is the first time you're connecting, you may be prompted for a password. If you do, use 123-45678 as the password. So once the connection is done, click on back and come, it will bring you back to this screen again. Click on enter now. And this time you can see it's trying to connect to your image transmission module and the connection is done. So once the connection is done, click on this button right here to start the image transmission. And as you can see, image transmission has started. All right, so now image transmission is working. And there we go. Right, um, and then you can now go over to the menu setting here, go to image, and you can check your histogram. You can check your force color. You can check your zebras, the checkerboard, focus, um, the RGB, individual RGB channels. This one will be your focus speaking. 
you can have lots if you have loaded any lots you can use them here and you have here the zoom you can zoom in up to four times right the next thing is if you combine focus speaking with zooming then you can actually pull focus and try to get as much you know in focus as you you can using that system and right here you have your grid so you can put on your three by three grid or any other grid that you want numerous options and this is just your crop modes right. these are your markers and with this you can flip the image click on this eraser button to clear all the settings of the screen so you can see your screen fully or you can see everything on the screen okay so now that we have everything set up like that the next step the bonus tip I said was to try to get this mounted on my Ronin SC so here we go with the Ronin SC and you can do this with any gimbal the key point is that you have a way to mount this properly if this configuration doesn't work for your setup or, or, or camera and lens combination then you may have to maybe add on a cage or something and be able to mount the transmission module on the side but for this setup it's good enough and it balances properly on the Ronin S so I'm just gonna mount this on my Ronin SC right and then once you have it mounted I'm gonna have to do a quick balancing you can see for this setup I'm using the a7 III with the 50 millimeter f1.8 and it seems to balance perfectly for me on the Ronin SC and I can now take my phone mount the phone in the phone holder here Start the image transmission and right there there we go right it's working right here awesome now you can do this with any gimbal it doesn't have to be the Ronin SC it doesn't have to be the Weeble S as long as you can find a way to securely mount this unit on your gimbal somehow and have the cables run properly to your camera you should be able to use the image transmission module with any camera system any gimbal system and it works awesome guys so thank you for watching this video this is how you can use your phone as a wireless monitor with the wearable s for any camera brand model that you own as long as the brand the camera model is compatible with the image transmission module from zero in tech awesome guys thank you for watching the video consider subscribing if you have not already and see you in the next video thank you